Meanwhile, back in the year one. Hi guys, it's me again. Um, and I thought I would call the President of the United States, um, or the CEO of the corporation, Barack Hussein Obama. What a name. Sounds like every one of the enemies that we've ever had combined that they've said were terrorists. Uh, the reason is, is because um, you see all this police stuff happening. I'll leave a clip at the end. He, this is what he wanted. If you guys remember right. Um, he wanted a civilian um, force here bigger and better than the army. So um, I'm going to give this a call and... Because I do believe it's time that we citizens took back our power. I think you can only leave comments. Thank you for calling the White House comment line. We appreciate your call. Please stay on the line and a volunteer operator will be with you shortly. If you prefer to call back at a different time, our direct telephone number is 202-456-1111. For additional information about the White House, wild, guys. please visit www and to share your thoughts, click on the words contact us on the upper right hand corner of the page. For government information by topic, please visit www.usa.gov or call 1-800-FED-INFO. Thank you. If you're calling about White House tour information, please press 1. If you're calling about presidential greetings, please press 2. For the White House mailing address, please press 3. To speak with the next available operator, please stay on the line. <coughs> Excuse me. Crickets. Thank you for your patience. Our comment line volunteer. Good morning. This is my house comment line. May I please a brief comment for the president? Um, yes, I do have a comment. Um, do you know what's happening in uh, Missouri right now? The police are militarized and people are complaining and they've gotten out of hand. Well, that's happening all over the USA and um, really, uh, my, I do. I, I guess I'd probably never get an answer back from the president if I, this is just a comment, right? Correct. Well, he preached this in 2008, how he wanted a civilian force that was bigger than the army to take on the American people. So, um, uh, my comment to him would be, I think citizens are going to start doing tribunals. Uh, the police are policing the police. Not one police officer has ever went to jail for murder. Um, or for anything. They just get a pat on the back, um, a vacation, and then they're put back on the police force. It did happen here in Washington State where I lived, where um, a man who was a local um, wood carver deaf, the police just unloaded on him, and uh, you guys sit in the Department of Justice, but nothing's changed in the state. We still have uh, bullies. They're thugs. I think they're on drugs. They look like they use steroids. There's no, there is absolutely no accountability for the police officers. There's no drug test. There's no nothing. So, um, a lot of people are now talking about, with our uh, senators and Congress people, somebody's got to hold these police departments accountable. And if it's the citizens, we're going to form citizen tri tribunals. So, maybe you ought to let him know. We, we would we would like his support in that since he's the one that started this to begin with. Um, he's the one that asked for this in 2008 and now it's got out of hand. We've got a bunch of murderers patrolling our street. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your call and your comments. They will be boarded on to the Office of the President. I'm quite sure they will. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, I'm quite sure that they're ignored like as everything else. See, you, you get the go-betweens. Um, but anyway, uh, at the end of this, I'll show you what he wanted. And this is why I want everybody to call their representative 
and even send this email if you have to, okay? Or send a, uh, or send call your local representatives and say, we will do citizen tribunals. We will figure out a way in each little town, in each little municipality in a big city. We will start. Police are not supposed to police the police. We the people are. We pay the salary. The hell with these CEOs and, or whatever you want to call them, presidents. I'll leave a clip at the end. This is what Obama wanted to begin with. Peace, guys, and love you. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded.